Hey there, fellow travelers and aviation enthusiasts. You ever look up at the sky and get lost in the wonder of flight? Yeah, me too. But here's a fun fact that'll really blow your mind. China, that's right, the land of dragons and dumplings, is now the top dog in the aviation world. That's right. They've zoomed past the United States to become the biggest aviation market on the planet. Remember when everyone thought Japan would rule the tech world forever? Well, China's aviation rise is kind of like that. Unexpected, powerful, and here to stay. It's like watching a jumbo jet take off from a rice paddy. Impressive, right? So what's the deal with this massive shift in the aviation landscape? Buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the wild world of Chinese aviation. We'll uncover. The reasons behind this meteoric rise explore the implications for the global aviation industry and maybe even do some plane spotting along the way. Get ready for takeoff, folks. This is one journey you won't want to miss. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. For decades, the United States has been the undisputed king of the skies. It's like they own the clouds, renting out space to everyone else. But recently, something monumental happened. China, with its massive population and booming economy, swooped in and snatched the aviation crown. Imagine a peaceful, respectful relay race, where the underdog, fueled by years of training and a whole lot of ambition, overtakes the reigning champ in the last leg. That's China's aviation story in a nutshell. In 2020, amidst a global pandemic that grounded airlines worldwide, China's domestic aviation market recovered faster than anyone expected. It was like watching a phoenix rise from the ashes, powerful and inspiring. This rapid rebound, coupled with the country's continued economic growth and expanding middle class, has propelled China to the forefront of the global aviation stage. But this isn't just about bragging rights, folks. This shift in aviation dominance has major implications for everything from aircraft manufacturing and airport construction to tourism and international trade. It's like a domino effect, with China's aviation boom triggering a ripple of change across numerous industries. So hold on tight as we explore the factors that have fueled China's remarkable ascent in the aviation world. Remember when China was known as the Bicycle Kingdom? Yeah, those days are long gone. Today, China is all about airplanes, and they're not just buying them, they're building them too. It's like a kid who used to borrow his friend's toys, but now owns the entire toy store. How did this happen? Well, picture this. A nation with over 1.4 billion people, a rapidly growing middle class with a serious case of wanderlust, and a government that's heavily invested in infrastructure development. That's China's recipe for aviation success. They've been building airports at a breakneck pace. It's like they're playing a real-life game of SimCity, but with actual airplanes. And let's not forget their ambitious plans to develop their own homegrown airline to surpass Boeing and Airbus. Talk about aiming for the stars. This relentless drive and ambition have catapulted China to the top of the aviation food chain. Next up, we'll address the elephant in the room. What does this mean for the United States? Now, before you start picturing American Airlines grounded and forgotten like a dusty model airplane collection, let's be real. The United States aviation industry is far from grounded. It's still a major player in the global market, with established airlines, advanced technology, and a long history of aviation expertise. Think of it like this. If China is the new kid on the block with the shiny new bike, the United States is the seasoned cyclist who's been around the track a few times. They know all the shortcuts and have the uh, endurance for the long haul. However, there's no denying that China's rise presents both challenges and opportunities for the United States aviation industry. To stay competitive, American airlines and manufacturers will need to adapt to this changing landscape, innovate, and perhaps even explore new partnerships and collaborations. It's a bit like a friendly rivalry, pushing both countries to strive for greater heights, pun intended. But hold on a second. What exactly is driving China's insatiable thirst for all things aviation? Let's find out. The million yuan question. 
What's fueling this meteoric ascent? All right, let's break down the billion, or should I say trillion? Yuan question. What's behind China's insatiable appetite for aviation? First off, picture a country with a population larger than the entire continent of Europe suddenly getting the travel bug. That's right. China's burgeoning. Middle class is itching to explore the world and they're choosing to do it by air. Second, China's government has been playing a long game, investing heavily in infrastructure projects like new airports, high-speed rail lines and efficient transportation networks. It's like building a perfectly orchestrated symphony of logistics with airplanes playing the lead violin. Third, China's economic engine is still humming, fueling the demand for both domestic and international travel. It's simple economics. When people have more money to spend, they're more likely to splurge on things like vacations and business trips. These factors combined have created the perfect storm for China's aviation boom. It's like a recipe for success with a dash of wanderlust, a sprinkle of government support, and a heaping cup of economic growth. Ready to peer into the future? Let's see what's on the horizon for China's aviation industry. The future is now. Buckle up for China's aviation odyssey. Hold on to your hats, folks, because China's aviation journey is far from over. It's like they've just launched the first stage of a multi-generational space program with ambitious goals and a whole lot of fuel in the tank. Imagine a world where Chinese airlines dominate international routes flying passengers from Beijing to Argentina and state-of-the-art aircraft manufactured in China. It's not science fiction. It's the future that China is actively building. They're investing heavily in research and development, training a new generation of pilots and aviation professionals, and forging partnerships with global players. It's like watching a master chess player making strategic moves years in advance. The future of aviation is being written in Chinese skies, and the world is watching with bated breath. But hey, it's not all about numbers and statistics, is it? Let's take a look at the wider impact of China's aviation boom. Beyond the numbers, the ripple effect of China's aviation boom, while the numbers are impressive, the impact of China's aviation surge extends far beyond airport terminals and balance sheets. It's like throwing a pebble into a pond and watching the ripples spread outwards, affecting everything in their path. For starters, this boom is creating jobs and lots of them. From pilots and flight attendants to aircraft mechanics and airport staff, the aviation industry is a major employer, and China's growth is creating opportunities for workers across the globe. Moreover, increased air connectivity is boosting tourism, trade, and cultural exchange. It's easier than ever for people to visit China, experience its rich culture, and do business with Chinese companies. It's like building bridges in the sky, connecting people and cultures in ways that were unimaginable just a few decades ago. So yes, China's aviation rise is a big deal and its impact is felt far beyond the runways, but hold on. Does this mean the US is out of the game? Let's discuss. So, is the US grounded? Not quite, folks. Now, before we declare the US aviation industry down for the count, let's remember America's got game. It's like a veteran boxer who's taken a punch but isn't down for the count. They're just getting warmed up. The U.S. still boasts a robust aviation industry with innovative companies, skilled labor, and a massive domestic market. They've got legacy experience and a knack for bouncing back. Think of it like a friendly rivalry with both countries pushing each other to innovate and excel. It's like a high-stakes tennis match with each side bringing their game to the court. So no, the U.S. is far from grounded. They're just adapting to a new reality, one where they're no longer the only game in town. But what does the future hold for these two aviation giants? Let's dust off our crystal balls and see what we can see. Okay, time for some crystal ball gazing. Predicting the future is like trying to catch a cloud tricky but not impossible. So what's on the horizon for China and the US in the world of aviation? One thing's for sure, the competition will only heat up. Imagine a technological arms race with both countries vying for supremacy in areas like supersonic flight, electric airplanes and autonomous aviation. It's like a real-life episode of Star Trek, but with commercial jets instead of starships. We'll likely see more partnerships and collaborations as well, as companies from both countries seek to leverage each other's strengths. It's like a game of chess, where the smartest moves involve alliances and strategic partnerships. Ultimately, the future of aviation is bright, with both China and the US playing leading roles. But enough from me. It's time to hear from you, the audience. Keep the conversation flying. 
Your thoughts, please. All right, aviation aficionados, it's your turn to weigh in. What are your thoughts on China's rise as an aviation superpower? Do you think the U.S. can? Maintain its competitive edge? What innovations in aviation are you most excited about? Hit me with your comments, questions, and predictions. Let's keep this conversation flying high. And hey, while you're at it, let me know what other topics you'd like me to tackle in future videos. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies. Until next time, aviation geeks. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for joining me on this whirlwind tour of the exciting world of Chinese aviation. Remember, whether you're a seasoned traveler or just an armchair enthusiast, the sky's the limit. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep that sense of wonder alive. Until next time, happy flying. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.